Well, hello there, we're getting ready to do a carpet pickup test with the Nito D7. Today we have for you, in our hallway, pieces of paper, 52 pieces of paper, 13 piles of four each, cut up in little small pieces, and put strategically along the walls, and along the edges of doorways, here, 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 and some down the middle of the floor here in my hallway, to see how well the Nito D7 picks up the paper. So, again, 52 pieces of paper. When we're done, we will count to see how many pieces of paper are left over. The Nito D7 is running on its turbo mode, which is the highest suction. And it uses a little small side spinning brush to help it make its way along baseboards and around corners and chair legs. As we watch it navigate my hallway here, we'll see how well it does. Give you a chance to see how the Nito navigates my hallway. Nito D7 uses laser guided navigation, which is that small little circular thing there on the top of the robot that spins at a high rate of speed and it maps your house. It can see the solid walls. First run, it maps your house and then runs after that. It already knows the floor plan of your house and it can run up and down your house in a logical way. See how well it does here on the corner. You see it bumping into the door a little bit there as it gets close. It's right up against that door frame. You see the side brush there. Now one of the drawbacks on the Nitos is the side brush is belt driven and it's designed according to Nito to slip. That way, if it gets stuck on something, it's not burning a motor out. The problem is, is well, on floor it spins really fast. In fact, you can't even see it. As soon as it hits carpet, it tends to go really slow. And it makes it ineffective at cleaning against the sides of your baseboards, long chair legs, corners of the room, etc. That's one of the drawbacks that I've seen on the Nito D7 and that side brush is not extremely effective. It's not even offered on the lower end model, the D3 or the D4. You have to jump up to the D5 and D6 and D7 come with that side spinning brush. I think the D5 does. I may be mistaken. Comment below if I'm wrong about that. I think the D5 comes with a side spinning brush. The latest generation that they market right now is the D4, D6, and the D7, which is the model I have. And it is finished now, so it will head back to its dock to do a quick charge. And while it's doing that, we're going to count the paper that it left on the floor and see how well it did. So I've done two runs of this test and I am putting the video up of the very best run out of two to make it fair. So this will either be the first or second run, but it will be the better of the two. And let's see what we got here for paper. So, uh, as you can see, it left a lot along the corners inside of the doorway here. Again, we had four there, four along the middle, four in the corner here at the door seal. Again, we had four over there, four in the middle, and four here. You can see it looks like it scattered a little bit, and then we had four rows of four pieces of paper going across here for a total uh, some over here too for a couple piles of four over here for a total of 52 pieces of paper now there are so many pieces of paper here i won't make you wait for me to pick up each one of these and count it so i'll give you a total here in just a second and here we are back again with 21 pieces of paper so out of 52 pieces of paper the Nito D7 ended up leaving 21 of them behind. So it picked up a little bit more than half of the paper in the hallway. Uh, it looks like the weakness is its side brush and not able to get uh, along the sides of the hall. And I'd also say it doesn't get in very tight with the corners either. So our end result uh, from our test here is 21 pieces of paper. Uh, if you like this comment, uh, content, excuse me, if you like this content, please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Also, comment below if you own the Nito D7 or any of the Nito 
uh, based robot vacuums. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. All right, have a good one.